Hello, my beautiful people. It's your girl, Sofina, the diva, back here again. Okay, so I am here in Medellin, Colombia, and you know, it just rained, so it's looking a little wet out here in these streets. Also, I'm slightly sick, but I'm feeling a lot better, so it is good. So I'm here in Colombia, and I thought that I would vlog my trip. First week in Colombia has been freaking amazing, guys. The people here, like in my classes and just in my hostel and everywhere are just so nice. I swear, I don't think I've met that many people all at once in one area that is just so awesome, so free-spirited. There's people here that are, have already been traveling for like a year and I'm like, they haven't even gone home. It's, it's just crazy. I give props to everyone and all these like travelers. Okay guys, but first off, when I went to the airport, when I landed in Medellin, Colombia, there was this sink that had a TV on it in the bathroom. What sink in a bathroom has a TV on it? Guys, there's a TV in front of the sink to wash your hands. What is going on? And secondly, I got here, I was like, you know what, let me get some snacks, let me get some water. After I settled in, I went to the grocery store, and this grocery store is freaking huge. It's two stories, it has an escalator. <clears throat> My mind is blown. It's the largest grocery store that I think I have ever seen. Guys, look at this grocery store. One of the first things that I did when I got here was I went on this tour. It was downtown tour of Medellin, Colombia. And I just really like saying the name. I'm gonna say it probably a lot of times on this vlog, so be prepared. So they were showing us and telling us the history about all this stuff. I learned so many amazing things about Medellin, Colombia. Very important. It is because the guy, he was from Venezuela, but he liberated Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Ecuador. He created Bolivia, and together with San Martin, he liberated Peru. All right, that's why the guy is so important. In the 1800s, from the Spanish people, he did all of that on top of a horse. That's why the guy is a hero. Now, guys. It's really cool just to hear the insight about all this stuff, what went down, what the new renovations are, how much it has improved. Also, one of my favorite things that we had on this tour was this popsicle coffee thing. Oh my gosh, to die for. It's really good, isn't it? It's really good. Muy bien. Mm, muy bien. But definitely better than Starbucks. <laughs> oh yeah. Even coffee bean. Oh my god. Starbucks is better than coffee bean in America. Right, guys? Okay, look at this, though. Café con mucho amor, meaning coffee with much love. This is what Americans okay. really need. All right, he's going to explain it. Ready? Go explain this sign. So, a coffee is oh, 2,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. A coffee, please, is 1,500 pesos. And good morning one coffee please it's only 1200 pesos <laughs> so the more polite you are guys the less it costs to get a coffee cheers, cheers. Ching. <laughs> bomb bomb diggity now one of the days we had salsa dance lesson which was really fun really cool then we all went out to this salsa like dungeon thing and it was really fun at one point you know we dance with people or whatever and then at one point you know they like cleared the room and like the owners or whatever came and danced with puppets <laughs> kind of cool but it was so hot in there literally I don't really sweat that often or like that much but I was dripping it was a sauna in there like actually worse than a sauna the next day we went on this thing called La Chiva which is a party bus type thing super bright colored like different kinds of colors and like all the students and stuff went onto this Chiva bus and it was so much fun my one of my friends and I like stuck our heads out the window so you'll see that here <laughs> And on one of the stops we got off 
and there was this dance group so they were showing their moves and some of my friends were like Sophina jump in there but I was wearing a dress so you know I don't have any footage of me jumping in there because I didn't jump there in there because I didn't have proper attire on so <laughs> In Medellin, Colombia, I have seen absolutely amazing views. I've gone on hikes and seen amazing views. I went on this one rooftop and it was just so beautiful at night. We also went up to this one area that has a beautiful scenery and it's just like, like a 360 beautiful scenery. It's just so And last, guys, but definitely not least, we went to Jardin, which is another city. It's supposed to take three hours to get there by car, but it took four hours, if not more, to get there because there was an accident. Now, what's crazy to me is when they have accidents out there, they turn their cars off and get out the car, walk around, get some snacks, either go look at the accident or something like that. I think it's quite interesting that they do that. In California, in LA especially, you just stay stuck in traffic and then you kind of get like annoyed and more frustrated that you're stuck in traffic whether it's just because it's traffic or whatever the cause may be but out here it's like no big deal turn off their cars get out and just chill until traffic moves anywho guys we went to Jardin which this area is all about coffee first we got to the city then we took this like bus thing and I sat on top of the bus which was super fun it was quite bumpy because it was like metal so it kind of hurt my butt a little bit but it was so cool the scenery was absolutely gorgeous on the way up and when we got there so cool we're on top of the bus now <laughs> we're on top of the world oh look at that oh oh my goodness that's where i'm getting married guys bananas bananas look at it. everything that is wrapped in blue are bananas Oh, I just got hit by one. Oh my gosh. Grab that. <laughs> I, Look, oh. oh my god. There are many bananas. Look, grab it. Look at, look at, look at oh. it. They sell it for a kilo. She just pressed some fresh orange juice, guys. Look at pictures. <sighs> Cheers, guys. They made us food, like some fresh food. Uh, chicharrones, platanos, arroz, which is rice. And what else? I don't really rem remember what else. <laughs> chicharrones. See? <laughs> it is fresh pressed coffee from their little coffee bean trees. So after we tried that, Here's me trying it. Okay. Coffee without sugar. It's fresh white. No, but why did you tell me? Why are you going to make it? I wanted to learn Spanish. I can't go to Venezuela. This is a mess. It's actually like toast to us. But there's a good place to go to in Venezuela. It's here in let me tell you right now guys i do not drink my coffee black so it was a little bit hard and out here they don't really use sugar or cream so it's really interesting so i tried it you know to me if i maybe put some cream and sugar in it i think it would have been great like fantastic it's organic but it's a little bit hard for me to chug that down so after that oh my gosh this is a lot of work almost lying down Where's the killer? <sighs> Apparently, 
this tree right here, if you hug it, it's for good luck. So just kind of next tree. Also, it's supposed to be backwards, so you just hug it backwards. Mucho gusto. We have to pick the red ones. Solo? Si. Los rojos. He said rojitos. Rojitos. You put them in the bucket. They have to be red. Si, rojo. Oh, he's going in the bush. He's in the bush. I'm going to fall. Oh. Apparently, you fill up one whole bag is only one dollar. You only get one dollar, guys. I don't see any more red ones. Okay. No sé, no sé. Oh, two and a half dollars, not one dollar. I think we ran out of the red ones here. Oh, look, look, I found one. Oh, yeah. A bug. It's white. It's blanco. No, this. Ah! This it? Got him. No, lo que la como como un hongo al palo. Okay. Y... Okay. I'm gonna go back to picking, guys. We'll talk to you later. Guys, I just got down from the whole mountain hill situation. Oof. And your girl fell two times. Two times. So, I'm okay. You know, no massive damage. But, uh... No worries. Look at that. So these are like grapes, and then the coffee bean is inside. They're hard? They're hard, guys. Oh, they are hard. I Try them, guys. This is the you know, bean. You can, you can see it actually. It fell in the fire and it Then after that was super fun. I got bit a million gazillion times. Like seriously, got bit everywhere. And also, I think I was a little bit allergic to those bug bites because they swelled up. But after a few hours, they went down. So. <laughs> <laughs> liked it i hope you enjoyed my journey of my first week in medellin colombia um and jardin obviously but you know i'm stationed in medellin colombia it was it's been so amazing and i'm pretty sure the rest of my trip is going to be amazing i'll probably do maybe another vlog about it maybe my last week here um because i'm here for a month total ah, crazy but it's so cool oh my gosh guys i'm loving it I think that I would suggest anyone to come to Colombia in general, everywhere. It's really cool. I'm learning my Spanish, so hopefully, guys, you know, if you know Spanish, you know, help me out. Um, hopefully, I'll be fluent in a little bit, but it's a little difficult to process every type of grammar, the present tense, the past, the future. There's three different past tenses, and it's just, you know, my mind is just going crazy, but it's awesome. Hopefully, soon, I'm going to be fluent. Okay, but please guys make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give it a big thumbs up. Also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at Sofina the Diva and on Twitter at Sofina underscore De Jesus. I will be posting some more photos of my amazing views of me, of my journey here. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye!